as you know it's a long cold winter up here in Maine and what do we do to keep ourselves active and to uh, keep ourselves sane is what I'm gonna do I'm going to play golf with my VR headset and I've got the extension looks plays like a golf shaft on the controller let's go play nine all right we're playing golf plus and we want to escape the snow and cold look look at it look how beautiful it is this is the castle ruins course and I'm, I'm my bag and let's see let's go back uh, been using the tailor-made ball yeah which is an upgrade you, you start playing you, you build credits all right we're gonna play single Castle one. We play nine holes front nine and when I'm swinging, swinging the control I'm swinging it like a golf club and we use difficulty is pro which means if I slice it or hook it or I hit it short or long or high or low I get what I get no uh, no help from the computer T's is the front pins are medium wind low green speed fast our goal today is get plus one or better on the front nine now this hole here we are here and it kind of looks straight on there but it, if you look at it it's kind of like a dog leg to the right a little bit and we are going to whenever you see me do this that notch there is where the ball needs to be for my internal boundary so I don't hit things when I swing the club Okay, got the driver. I'm gonna give her a whack. <laughs> Looks like it might be pretty good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's hard to beat that. That's 300 yard drive right there. Into the rough a little bit. We don't mind that though. It's 80 yards to the hole with this club but being in the rough will take off a few yards so it should be just about right right there looking good looking, eh, not bad we didn't get into trouble we would have flew the green over there that's where the trouble is okay and these tailor-made balls, they're a little bit firmer putting in the, in the uh, balls you get when you first start playing. And it didn't break that much. Yeah, got shot at a par here in the first hole. Yeah. Not a bad start. Par five. Hard dog leg to the right. We are going to go. Let me see. Let's see if I can point it. We're going to aim to hit it right about here. We're going over all this crap with the driver. That's going to be our mission. We're going to try to hit a fade or or a slice, whichever you want to call it, with the driver. That looks pretty good. Let's get an air overhead. Oh yeah. Look straight down. Hope you're not afraid of heights. Okay. This is a par five, by the way. And 110 yards. I'm gonna hit with an open club face because I want to knock some of the yardage down. Looking good, looking good. Me there. Alright, we knock a little too much off that. Third shot on R5. You see, it's going to definitely go left when it hits, so. Right. I chip with an open club face. Do what works for you. 
Okay, not terrible, but a shot at a birdie. Okay, she rolled away a little far. One part. There be right there. These are extra points you get, and you, you get to level up and get new equipment if you build enough points. Okay, par three, which are normally my nemesis. I have a habit of pulling. Up. <laughs> Definitely didn't go left that time. Right. This is tricky because you see the green, it goes away from you. Oh, we hit the pin. Wow. At least we left it on the green. We got a shot, shot at a par. Okay, par four, number four hole is a tough hole. Because when you get down there, you'll see when you get down there and look at the green. And I can hit driver here or I could hit a three wood, either one. But my goal, my target, is somewhere from that castle to just inside there. But not too far inside. Let's line it up. Okay. Oh, that ain't bad. That's not bad at all. That will play. And if we get in the sand, we don't actually mine too much on this hole. No, we didn't. Because it's easier to stop. So you got to get enough to get it up there. There's not much green to work with. That's what makes it so difficult. If you don't get it up there, it comes right back at you. We get it up there. All right, birdie putt. Not an easy one. And if you get too aggressive, you can see where it rolls right back off the green for you. All right. Mm, that was not good. I did not leave myself what I wanted for my par. Ooh, we almost had it. We go one over. Or two over. That's right. Okay. We gotta get it. Alright. We're gonna hit driver, be aggressive. No. We're gonna hit a three wheel. And we hit it too far to the right. Rim the kaka. Rim the kaka on the right. We can still make the green. We have a sand wedge. Practice swing. Oh, not bad. Not bad from the kaka. We got a birdie putt now. You don't count those uh, practice swings. Oh my god, that was terrible. Went right around it. Almost left it short on the other way back. Lucky to get out of that one was a par. Okay. I'll give you a three wood. I've got no idea why. Because not only can I make it with a three wood, I can make it over with a five wood, and I can almost put it through the green with a three iron. So we're going to hit a three iron. Let's see what we're lined up. We don't want to go over there. We want to go a bit over here between the end of that tall, dark stuff on the left 
in the, where the arrow's pointing to the green. So we're going to have to reposition the ball. Now, what I'm repositioning for is this line here, not necessar necessarily the line on the ball because I'm in a room and there's objects in the room, so I'm going to adjust the swing direction. All right, let's go. Too far to the left. Oh, look at this. Check this out. Because I'm not too far to the left. I'm on the green. But, I'm on the green, but look how far away I am. Alright, at the end it's going to go a little bit left. I just want to leave it close so we'll get a nice birdie pop. Is close. Right. Let's oh. I should be hitting it off the toe right there. You should know you use the toe of the putter to kind of deaden the shot. You didn't get the par, which should be on the green. And one on a power four and you get a par is a little bit disappointing. Okay, this hole here plays a little shorter. Oh, power three and I always pull it left. I didn't get me too bad a shot. Right. Chop, see how this downhill slant but chop down on it with the face open. Flip the wrist. Check it out. We almost put it in. Send the bird. Okay, let's see if we can get it. Toe. Cut. And my stroke was terrible. Bogey. Plus three. We got two holes left. Not looking good. Let me hit driver. This one here, we kind of need to go right at that arrow somehow. If we fade it right, we need to go a little left. But we're going to go with the driver. Put it all on the line. We hit it left, but it's not coming back to the right. Ooh, ooh, is that out of bounds? It's not good if it is. Yep, it's out of bounds. This is a drop. You can either take it from the last shot or take a drop. So I'll take a drop. It'll get me a lot closer. Except it is. What a longer club. In the crab. It's going to need one to get the other. We'll get over the crab. Nope. I'm bleeding strokes right now. Okay. I've got us on the green, but a long ways away. This is the this stroke of the Let's get it up. It takes one hole to ruin everything. Okay, I'm gonna up the tone. Ah, nice. We got an eight on a power four. Okay, last hole. Why not hit the driver? Nothing to lose at this point. Oh yeah, we crushed that. I'm not going to give you the overhead because I want to see what the yardage ends up being. 
Did we hit a 300 yard drive? I think we did. Go to. Don't mind the shaking, I got Parkinson's. 302, 113. This is a par 5, so maybe we can salvage something out of this. I'm gonna like it. Okay. Two shots of Eagle Pot coming. Get there, get there, get there, get there. You hit it too much, it rolls way down. Okay. Birdie. Finish with a birdie, plus six. Uh, one hole really ruined the round. Okay, thanks for coming along. We'll play the back nine next time.